Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Wyatt Leonard, and we're here at Vertilax Sound taking a look at the Fig Foam by StoneFFX. Now, Fig Foam is an anagram of Big Muff, so I'm sure you can guess where the inspiration for this pedal is from. Now, I'm no Jay Masochist or anything, but I have a decent collection of Big Muffs, and I'm super familiar with the circuit. I know how to make them sound great, and I know their weaknesses. And one of the biggest weaknesses of the pedal is how weird the tone circuit is. And when you're all the way on the dark side, it's super muddy, and you have no articulation, and the middle is your sweet spot where it sounds amazing, but as soon as you start to go past that, you're losing all your low, and it just becoming super shrill and harsh. Now Stone Def saw that as a problem and this is their experiment if you will to fix it and they replaced that tone control with a single band parametric EQ. Now with this EQ instead of the typical tone control you can do that classic scoop that the Big Muff is known for but you can fine tune it to whatever your guitar and amp combo is and make it sound perfect or you can just set it at zero and have it completely flat like the tone wicker which is a great sound or you can have super narrow boost at the resonant frequency of the room and just have infinite sustain which is really fun or one of my favorite things to do is if you've ever played a big muff live you know as soon as you step on it you're falling back in the mix you can't hear yourself so one of my favorite things to do is a nice wide bandwidth and boost the mids back in so you're still getting an incredibly full and fat sound but you're not falling back in the mix and it sounds amazing recorded it just hits you right in the face out of those speakers and personally it's my favorite big muff sound and the fig foam absolutely nails it. One thing I want to add real quick is that there's a foot switchable noise gate in this pedal. Now I'm not a big fan of noise gates, but I think they nailed it with this box. Uh, you know, the noise gate was custom designed for the pedal, so it's kind of what you'd expect. And I've never found it to like, step on me or anything. At first, I didn't quite understand why it was on a foot switch, but after using it, it makes total sense to me. So you can have it engaged if you're doing a really chunky part and you just want it to be super tight. You don't want any feedback. Say at the end of that song, there's some crazy feedback section though, so you can just bypass it and go crazy or if you don't like it you can just leave it bypassed all the time and it's like it's not even there you can plug an expression pedal in here so you can do like a fuzz wah type thing personally i think it would just sound better to run a fuzz in front of it but it the option's there if you want it so without further ado let's listen to the pedal some more <laughs> So to conclude this episode, I want to talk about some drawbacks of this pedal. Uh, the biggest one for me is just how expensive it is. Uh, I'm really biased towards this circuit, so it's totally worth it to me, but it might not be to you, and that's totally okay. The other thing is, if you've never worked with a parametric EQ before, it takes a while to get used to. So there's a little bit of a learning curve to this pedal. Now another might just be how big it is. If you're trying to do a small pedal board, this is definitely too big for it, but I mean, it is a big muff, so what do you expect? Other than that, there's not a whole lot I can think of. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.